What's up, internet fam? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new there, hi, hello, my name is Ren, and I make LGBTQ lifestyle videos for you guys. So if that type of content interests you, then hit that subscribe button. I post every single Friday. And welcome back to another chaotic L word recap. So this time we're gonna be talking about Episode nine. I, I cannot believe there's only like one more episode left. I'm a little bit gutted. I'm not gonna lie because I've been enjoying this. I'm not gonna lie. Like looking forward to every Friday to like watch it. I'm just like gonna miss that. You know, looking forward to something every single week. But hopefully, I'll find something else to be excited about. But yeah. So let's go ahead and talk about episode nine. Normally I start with the Tess and Shane, but this time I can't because Tina is. Tina's back. I know a lot of you guys that have been reading on Instagram and Twitter and all this stuff are not wanting Ben and Tina to get back. This is not the video for you then because I ship them, I love them, I want them back to bet in game forever. So first off, we're gonna start with Bet, okay? And she's you know out there protesting with Pippa for the CAC to take down the Nunez wing. And they're out there, they got all the artists to come and rally, so it looks like you know, a great success for them. Then we get to see Tina. So Tina and Angie and Bet are all sitting together at the hospital waiting for Angie to meet her donor dad, Marcus. And she's got her questions. She's ready. She's nervous. And yeah, you know, they're just making small talk with her about prom. And I guess Marcus's wife comes out and wants to speak with Bet, and unfortunately tells Bet that they cannot meet with Angie today and just pretty much leaves. So Bet, you know, has to come back and tell the news. And of course, Angela, Angelica, sorry, is devastated, right? So back at the house, you know, they're getting ready for prom. Angie is taking it out on her parents. She is just, yeah, she's just taking it out on them because she's, you know, she's distraught. She's upset and I totally get it. My camera just died. That's just me, huh? So irresponsible. Okay, Angie's pissed, right? And basically, I guess she doesn't want to go to prom, so all the kids leave. And Tina decides to ask Bet, what did you say to Carrie? Like, why can't you just be happy for me? Like, and Bet's like, I don't understand why I can't tell a grown woman that I don't want to be her friend. And honestly, I mean, I kind of get it. Like, why would Bet want to be best friends with Carrie anyways? Like, that just seems like, I don't know. I just, I wouldn't want to deal with all that. I don't know. But anyways, the doorbell rings. Tina gets it. It's Pippa Pascal. Tina's like, oh my gosh, like Pippa Pascal, like is in the house, like. And Tina starts getting the vibe that Pippa and Better an item. And I'm like, I want to feel like the jealousy from Tina. Like I want to see it. I'm like, I, I really want to see some jealousy between her and um, the two of them. So I was pretty excited about that, right? Pippa's getting ready to leave. She tells Bet that, you know, they won. They're taking the Nunez thing down and they share like a sweet moment. And I'm just like, oh, I wish Tina would have walked in while well, they were smooching. But she does see them smooch anyway um, before she leaves. And Tina's kind of looking, she's curious, like, you know, how long you've been together? Well, you know, the one thing that annoyed me a lot about the Tina and Bet scenes this time is that they always keep getting interrupted. Like, I want some hard, like, I want like a like the hard conversation. I want them to like be there and have like a good conversation without always being interrupted. But they kept getting interrupted, right? Anyways, that was annoying. But Angie decides to go to prom after Shane and Alice talk to her and they drive her. So Ben and Tina are alone again. And I love this part, but Ben's like, I think we should go back. And I think in that moment, Tina was thinking like, should we get like back? Like, what do you mean back? Like, I'm like, is she thinking, like, what was she thinking? Like, oh, so it was like, it was good. Like, ah, uh, but anyways, uh, Tina's like, you know, to the hospital. So they go back to the hospital and, you know, they talk with him and they're like, listen, Angie, you know, really wants to meet you. She's been serious about this. She's got her questions. Like, just, you know, give it a chance. And he's like, yeah, like, yeah, okay. And they're excited. They think that they did it. And I'm just like, Ugh. but, um, you know, he dies, he dies. And I'm just like, wow, that's, that's rough. But the best part, oh my God, the best part of this whole Bet and Tina thing was how they were sitting waiting for Marcus, right? And Tina keeps asking like, why can't you be happy for me? And Carrie, and Bet's like, I am. Like, what more do you want from me? And yeah, Tina's like, are you still in love with me? And I was just, I cannot believe that they just let that hang. Like, that was the most, 
annoying part of the whole episode was that they did not let Ben and Tina have like any good conversations. Like anytime a question was asked, it was like shut down by somebody else coming or somebody interrupting. And I just really like got annoyed by that. I wanted them to have some serious conversations, but I just, I loved having Tina back. Ah, oh, the chemistry between them two is just, duh. I want them back together so badly guys, so badly. Next, we're gonna go to my next Girls, Tess and Shane. Tess is introduced at the little prom shindig at Bet's house and they love Tess and I'm like, yes, I love Tess too. Like, I love them together. They're mwah, a great couple. So um, they go in like the little like laundry room or I don't know where the heck are and they, car they start making out and I'm just like, oh, this is great. Like, I loved it. And some little dorky little kid came in and like ruined it. <laughs> I'm like, why is everybody interrupting everybody in this episode? I'm so tired of the interruptions. Like, let people do their thing, all right? I just want to see everybody do their thing, right? So, they go back to making out. But then guess what? Sophie interrupts now. And I'm like, okay, the dorky kid's interrupting. Pip is interrupting. Um, the, the, Sophie's interrupting. Everybody's interrupting. I'm over it. I'm over the interruptions this episode, okay? I'm just over it. Oh, the late, Marcus interrupts when Tina and Bet are trying to talk about, you know, if, they're, if she's still in love with her. I'm just like... Seriously, you're getting on my nerves with the interruptions now. I'm, I'm over it, you know, I'm over the interruptions. So Tess leaves, and that's when Alice and her go up to talk to Angie. A lot of, a lot of could care less about that, so let's just keep going. <laughs> Tess and, you know, Shane are still smooth sailing, so I'm hoping that it's gonna stay that way for the next episode. Next we have Alice. Alice is in an interview um, for her book and they keep asking about who her new lucky lady is. And Alice is having like this moment where she's like nervous. She doesn't want to let them know she's in a relationship with a man because basically everybody thinks she's a lesbian. So she's kind of scared, I guess, to, to let everybody know this, right? So she says it's gonna be kept a secret. Oh, you'll have to wait for my next book. Don't know how Tom's gonna feel about that, but you know, we'll see. Um, then after that, you know, she goes to bet for the prom and she's asking people like, do you think that people would care if I said I was with a man? And, and she killed me when she goes, nobody cares. I'm like, she's like a typical teenager, like pissed off. Just, it was, it was the funniest freaking thing. I think of the whole like episode. Like, do you think anybody would care if I was dating men? Nobody cares. I was like a savagery. So she takes that and she's like, okay, nobody's gonna care. So she's over with an interviewer, tells him she's dating a guy named Tom, Tom, and they hang up on her. I'm like, no. Like seriously, we'll see what happens uh, with that. Next we have Danny and Gigi, you know, they're talking over breakfast about, you know, the paper and how Bet, you know, had her people out there protesting, marching, like artists, all of this. And Gigi's like, you're, you're so great at what you do. Like you're gonna figure it out, it's gonna be great. Um, and then, you know, they kind of start talking about Eli has this like recital or something and Danny's gonna go. So they ended at that with her going to work, right? Danny goes talking to the CAC and basically they're like, listen, I have art, like all these artists are trying to pull. Like, I just don't think I can keep this, this up. You know, I'm under a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. And Danny's like, please, like this will ruin, you know, the family if, if it gets taken down. So it doesn't seem like she's gonna win with that one, right? And so she misses the recital and tells, you know, Gigi that she had traffic. And so she lied to her and I'm like, ugh. Don't, Gigi already made it like very obvious that she's not a fan of like the lying, right? So Gigi comes over later and they're talking and she, found, she finds out that it wasn't just, you know, traffic. And she's not happy with that, you know? So they have a little discussion and Gigi's like, you know, you can't push me away and you can't like tell me things like this. Like you have to be, you know, open with the communication. And Danny's like, okay. So they worked out their little thing. I, I still love them as a couple, but then randomly Finley comes into the house like drunk and she's like pissed in front of the freaking, in the hallway. I'm just like, what is going on? What is going on? I can't believe she really peed like that. Like, oh my God, that's so gross. But I was just shook, I guess. I guess people do that, I, I don't know. But um, yeah, so she has to call Sophie to come and get her. And I was like, okay, interesting, right? Next we have Sophie, Finley, Maribel, Micah, all of them together, because they're kind of like all together basically. Um, Sophie, she's she can't find Finley, she can't get a touch of Finley. She asks Alice, Alice doesn't know. She calls, you know, the, the police, they don't have her. You know, she's talking to all these people, she's calling um, 
tests about her, nobody can find Finley, right? So she's going to the birthday party at her family's house. Maribel's there, Micah's there. They're asking where's Finley. She's like, I haven't seen her. But the thing that really bothers me about the two, Maribel and Sophie, is they're freaking annoying. If my sister acted like that to me, I would just like, I wouldn't want to be around her. I'd be like, get away from me. I don't like you. Like, no. Like, the sibling drama they have is just so unnecessary. Like, do siblings act like that? My sister does not act like that to me. And I don't act like that to my sister. But, um... So they're fighting basically all at the table, right? And Maribel's like, well, Sophie got a DUI. Sophie's girlfriend Finley got a DUI. And they're like, what? The guy never liked her, blah, 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 blah. And then Sophie's pissed. She's like, well, Maribel's dating Micah. And everybody's like, what? Oh my God, I thought he was like dudes. And they're just like, all this drama. And there's poor Micah. It's like, thanks for inviting me. This has been, been wonderful. This has been lovely, right? not been horrible oh my god i'd be like i'm ready to bounce like this is too much then sophie gets the call and she has to go to, to danny's to go and get finley and i'm just like what the heck and then maribel and micah you know they're chilling watching tv day they're always watching tv i feel like they're always watching tv <laughs> but they're watching tv basically and talking about like you know the love word and all that and yeah so maribel and them seem to be going good finley and sophie not doesn't seem like they're going too well but all in all, we got one episode left. Um, I'm nervous about this episode. I'm scared uh, of the cliffhanger that we're gonna get. Um, but I'm excited. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you excited I'm Tina back? Oh, I miss Tina. I just want Tina to stay forever. I don't want her to break up with, I want her to break up with Carrie and come back with, with Bet. But I don't know what's gonna happen. I, I hate that they broke them up in, in the first place. Like that was just like, you guys suck. But anyways. Yeah, let me know what you think about this, and I will see you guys next week with another Chaotic L Word recap. Much love. Mwah.